hello guys welcome to my channel in today video tutorial we are going to learn how to integrate jQuery data table in ASP.NET MVC application and you can also uh, integrate in uh, either of the backend side just like PHP or any other site but for this example I will use ASP.NET MVC application to describe the integration of the jQuery data table so what is jQuery data table jQuery data table is an open source jQuery library which provides uh, data and uh, data table integration and you uh, and provide the built-in search functionality uh, uh, filters and number of entries you want to show on the screen and pagination headers and different types of functionality is just provide built-in in the data table so let's get started so first of all i will go back to the visual studio uh, i will create a new visual studio project asp.net mvc so i will select new project and here i will select asp.net web application and will type project name as jquery data table example and click on ok button now asp.net mvc have different templates so we will select this one and will click on ok here it is asking for microsoft azure account so we will not need this for this example so i will cancel it and now it is creating our project so let's wait while it's being created So our brand new project has been created and now it is restoring packages. So let's restore it. Okay. Okay. As you can see done written here. So our packages has been restored. And now as you can see uh, you have an idea of MVC application. If, if you don't have idea so uh, it is not necessary you follow the MVC application but for the front end the process of the data table integration will be the same either you use backend asp.net mvc application or php or any other application so our main focus on the data table so if you have idea on asp.net mvc application so here is the views folder and we have shared folder and in shared folder we have layout file so here we have a html return which rendered on every page of the mvc application and what we will do next we will go back to the uh, data table website so you can go here on this url and you can see here different examples and documentation about the data table and as you can see it is providing the css uh, library link and javascript link by using this you can integrate this data table in your project so what do we need first we need to full uh, click on full getting a started guide and here is the installation so as here you can see we have a table example html table written and here is the installation guide if you scroll it further so here we have two links one is for the css and other one is for the javascript so what i will do i will copy these two links and go back to the project and i will paste it here so i will paste this link here and this is the css link of data table and you can also download it and place it manually in your project and then reference it but i will use cdn for this purpose so it's your personal preference how do you want to use it and i will cut the script part here and will paste it in the script section so what i will do i will add the script here uh, sorry but i will paste directly it here and uh, as you know we have to reference the css file in the head and 
HK file in the uh, body section so <coughs> if you wonder guys why I'm, I be using this here and link script here so in MVC application we need to provide uh, all the references on the master layout that is underscore layout so that it will automatically render in all the child pages okay now I will save it and uh, first of all let's uh, run this project and uh, have a look what it is providing to us so let's run it by pressing ctrl f5 that's loading it and here is application loaded so as, as we all know our sp.nmc application by default running on home controller and index action so when i click on you can see the same result so we will need to work on index view so where do we find the index view we will go into the solution explorer and here is the views in home folder we have index file so here is the index file so what i will do i will cut it all existing code and will add line break here and now i will create a html data table so let's create a table so i will provide a table and will use some bootstrap classes class table table uh, condensed you can use every uh, any class which you like and i will give uh, this table id uh, my table so that we will use further it to integrate data table and now i will create a table head and in table head we have th and this th we need just like uh, employee name and next we will use so i think here is the some problem i think it is uh, giving some problems so oh, i forget to add tr so first of all we need to add a row so i will cut this code and will place it here okay and next one column name is salary so our next column will be status so i will add status here and here is our head part completed now i will add table body so in the table body we will add raw and we'll add some columns like td employee name let's say Holland and let's copy it, paste it three times and salary will be twenty thousand. Status is active and let's copy this complete row and paste here several times. So I will paste it four times and will change the name John and we'll give this name jimmy and the final name will be z and we'll change salary parts as well let's say 10,000 and 15 25,000 and this one is 15 thousand and let's change uh, status of this to disabled so let's run our project and see what we got so here we have a simple uh, table bootstrap table or html table but we don't have any paging and sorting filtering so let's integrate the data table so in order to integrate data table we need this code snippet which we want to apply 
so I will copy this code snippet from here and we'll go here and as you know in ASP.NET MVC application we need to provide section script to write a script in a child view or razor view so I will add a script tag here okay and name is type will be text javascript okay and we'll add some space and we'll paste this code here so this code is very important so what it is doing it will take the table id and apply data table to it so here we provided my table id and i will apply this into it so let's run this project and see that we have integrated properly or not our scripts which we provided on underscore layout file has working properly or not so let's save it and let's run the project by pressing ctrl f5 so i will press ctrl f5 and let's have a look we our project properly working or not so it is giving some MVC related so let's go back to the visual studio and let's have a look what we have done wrong so I think it is the problem here here I misspelled the scripts keyword and forget to add s so I will add a script and let's run again the project by pressing ctrl f5 I hope it is working fine now okay so as you can see our data table has successfully integrated you can see different paging options here number of entries uh, currently we have only four entries so it is not gonna be tested so we have uh, sorting options so here we will click and you can see it is sorting and descending and ascending order we can sort by numbers or salary so you can see it is working also fine and we have pagination and we have search option as well let's search holland and it is working fine let's search jimmy and it is also working fine so our jquery data table has been integrated successfully and if you follow the proper steps uh, then it is not gonna be problem and it is very useful for the project so you can use uh, this video for practicing in jQuery Detective integration so if you find this video helpful kindly subscribe my channel like this video share this video thank you for watching